after a video went viral last week showing a bulldozer destroying nearly 100 confiscated dirt bikes in New York City. A viewer reached out to our Getting Answers team asking why the same can't be done right here in Springfield. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli joins us live in Springfield with those answers. Matt. Well, Mary, we brought our questions to elected officials who've spearheaded efforts to crack down on these illegal dirt bikes to find out whether dirt bikes can be destroyed around here and what steps they're taking to try to change that. Well, it just shows you that uh, Springfield is not the only community that's going through these issues. You know, these dirt bikes are a nuisance everywhere. After this video surfaced last week showing nearly 100 illegal dirt bikes and ATVs confiscated and bulldozed by the NYPD, a viewer reached out to our Western Mass News Getting Answers unit asking why can't we do this here? Without some sort of legal process, I don't think we can do that. We reached out to elected officials who met virtually on Monday to address the issue, including Springfield City Solicitor John Payne. Currently, confiscated dirt bikes not properly claimed go to auction, where they can end up right back on the streets. And according to Payne, civil asset forfeiture laws must be resolved before a pending home rule bill put forth by State Representative Orlando Ramos could take effect. That would allow for the destruction of confiscated dirt bikes. We anticipate that we're going to be able to complete that by the end of the session. Uh, then we can move forward with a home petition. Right. right? Nice timing. And Springfield police are on board with the state representative's proposal. According to spokesperson Ryan Walsh, SPD is in favor of crushing seized off highway vehicles that are not returned to their original owner. There is currently no law that allows us to do that. Ramos adds he's hopeful that the bill could take effect by next summer. So what's the plan until that point? The city of Springfield is going to continue to be aggressive on dirt bikes. We're going to continue to confiscate them. We're going to continue to arrest people who are uh, riding these illegal dirt bikes. The only thing that we have to um, that we have to clar clarify is when we'll be able to uh, officially destroy these bikes so that they don't end up back in circulation. Ryan Walsh tells me Springfield police seized 125 off-highway vehicles last year. While he didn't provide an exact figure for this year, he says the number is well above 50 to date. Live in Springfield, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News. Thank you, Matt. If you have a question or something you want us to look into for you, email us at gettinganswers@westernmassnews.com. Just be sure to include your name and phone number as we work to dig deeper.